so i'm going to be we've done this before running errands chatting with you guys and yeah updating you i'm actually Please deciding successfully to do this um Gatelena because i'm it looks like i'm not gonna get time anytime soon who is that in a video a sit down a proper sit down video which is what i wanted to do in order to just catch up with you guys have a little chit chat and tell you everything that i feel i want to share and some of what i ought to be sharing on the channel so i've been away as i sometimes am um but i've also been it's because i've been busy with i don't want to say with real life because this is real life but i've been a lot has happened which is the very reason why there's this video but first and most importantly i wanted to share with you guys that we now have an official date for the fundraiser because i, th I think in the last video well again saying here on youtube i'd said i know and then later on instagram i released a date and then we had to postpone but now the official official date the 29th of july we're still accepting financial donations it's at depart for food parcels hopefully non-perishable food items but anything you can spare we are accepting and if you just want to be present on the day to come spend the day with as the kids the kids my kids and i um you're welcome um i'll share um, my social media handles on the screen you can text me dm me call me Hello, lady. okay so anyway where have i been where to start usually where my clients come in or my patients and i like so i'm going to take my own advice if you've been a friend of the family and of the channel you'll remember okay, last year when i celebrated my birthday i brought on here my gratitude journal and i shared with you that oh this is what helps me stay grounded this is what i use as a testament to god's faithfulness and these are my songs of victory like i give gratitude it's it, it doubles as a prayer journal stroke gratitude journal and then later towards sometime yeah, about december when you know when for normal people year end fatigue sets in i go through this maybe this is not unique to me but i go through this reflective period i started reflecting on the things that had happened to me or the things that happened to me all throughout the year last year and i realized that i hadn't actually dealt with anything that bothered me or should have under normal circumstances been dealt with as a thing or a point of oh hey this was not nice or maybe this hurt my feelings or and i'll give an example when um, i got into new york university right i told you guys and then i decided to pass up the opportunity because i got another opportunity yeah uk which was funded i'd already gotten a scholarship so it, it seemed like the uk thing was a better alternative to the new york and washington thing so i passed that opportunity up right and then when the thing yeah uk liverpool didn't work out the way we had hoped it would in my gratitude journal instead of taking time to journal and feel my pain and cry and curl up on the floor and want to die i put in my gratitude journal that oh god i'm so grateful that the new york thing didn't work out because i believe it was redirection and when the liverpool thing fell through i was like oh god thank you so much for this thing not having worked out because what's for me will never miss me so it must mean this was not for me right and i kept it moving so for december 10 past 4 <laughs> i'm going through the i'm going through my journals and i'm going through my gratitude jar and i realized that no when i didn't talk about that they hurt me or they broke my heart or i'm sad about this thing or i should have been sad but i didn't actually process but at the time now i'm feeling said 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 and it, it just came crashing on me like a ton of bricks oh no this it was heartbreaking this was exhausting this person hurt me and i'm like ah oh, no thank you good riddance or whatever like that was my attitude like i was a happy go lucky girl last year and towards the end of the year i'm like ah no and i don't know even in the video yogi and thing yeah the lessons i learned i was like okay I kept it extremely positive and not that there's anything wrong with being positive i'm just saying for me everything had just become how do i say yeah i was just that girl 
a happy girl and i was doing my thing and i was in my element but i didn't really sit with my feelings and process things for what they were i quickly jumped to being grateful i quickly in order to seem or to convince myself that i was doing well i either swap things under the rug or refuse to confront things or altogether not deal with anything because it's a good life or because God's got me. Not that there's anything wrong with being positive and believe in God, and, but I just feel like that's where everything started for me. So, okay, I will be back to do a continuation because I did say I would be taking you guys and to get out of my chores and stuff. So also this, the girl, I changed that thing because it liked it. So I'm going to go out, go feel like man. Like who would have thought? So that's done. Um, now to clean up and make dinner. But yeah, um, so last year after the reflections and everything, I started spiraling, I think downwards. And it was anemia, but um, if you've been a friend of the channel or a friend of the family, there's a video I did on my channel, yeah, my Oh, yes, my diagnosis, yeah, iron deficiency, anemia, and my symptoms. So I had not just one of these symptoms, not two, not a combination of three of these symptoms. Like I had all of them at the same time. So the symptoms that mimic depression and or anxiety, I had symptoms of depression and anxiety. I was lethargic. I was dealing with insomnia. I couldn't eat, so I was losing weight. That's actually why I had to get ready at the gym because we had not figured out or really iron deficiency anemia at the time not iron deficiency there's some other fancy thing that apparently i have now because the reason we didn't we were not able to pick up on what was happening with me was because i was doing my iron tests they normal i was testing my blood for hemoglobin as i usually do and it was excellent numbers both 15 we just thought i was dealing with something and we had to go now do every single blood test you can think of maybe we were testing for i think at some point we were doing my glycated hemoglobin because normally but we maybe thought i'm not eating properly because at that point i was no longer able to eat i was really really struggling like i was being fed I was not strong enough in my body to drive myself around or to get out of bed like my dad had to take me to work on the days where i had the energy to even attempt to get out of bed i um i was getting the panic attack it's about at least for a day and we were calling them panic attacks because in the same more than just palpitations obviously at this point like i was physically ill like they would be debilitating and i would even faint feeling like it was a lot so yeah, I, I did every single test you can imagine, um, trying to figure out what was wrong. But now, because we said it also mimics the symptoms of um, depression and anxiety, I'm in therapy. Therapy, hmm. <laughs> you, obviously you get there, they ask you, now what do, maybe what do you think is your problem or whatever, Gabo. Tell me about your childhood. Because now I got there and I told her, oh no, my life is perfect. I don't know why I'm ill, but we're doing tests and I'm going to be fine. Kakalaka, tell me about your childhood. So now, as you're unpacking, you're, you, I went back to that point where now I have to even deal with the things that I had not dealt with the previous year. Like I said, body, the, the patterns and your habits. Yeah, we were dealing with my toxic traits. We were dealing with my past traumas. We were just dealing with a lot of things. But my iron is still not... We're not figuring out. Really. No, my anemia is playing a very big part in this thing. We're in therapy. I'm being I'm, I'm spending nights at the hospital. I can't eat. Because the electrolytes are So I get from the hospital. I remember this one morning. My mom picked me up from the hospital and I get the whole So we're hoping for good numbers. And then when I 30 minutes later, my blood pressure, I'm dizzy again. My blood pressure gave over 70. I think it was 70 over 50 something. We're dealing with this, we're dealing with that. I'm dealing with those things that I told you guys that I now had to confront. Uh -uh. So yeah, I had to really, really, really take care of myself. And I don't want to say I'm grateful because we're just addressing this now, but in hindsight, <laughs> I'm very, very grateful. Not because, not for what happened. I don't know how to phrase this. I'm learning to find the words to be as honest 
with myself as realistic as I need to be while maintaining a posture like a hard posture of I came out on the other side better than I would have ever imagined like nobody knew like I didn't know there was days where I felt like I'm fighting for my life because the thoughts the bad thoughts were there and the horrible feelings were overwhelming and those days when I was like uh if this thing this thing's about to take me out and at that point I think we had figured out that it was the anemia but the medication was not working either so legal therapy I'm dealing with this and I still I still need to show up for work and life the carousel doesn't stop turning like I am my my needing to be a daughter a friend a partner a sister a, a colleague it doesn't just stop because you're dealing with all of these things that seem to be coming at you right so there's that the scars of yeah the scars of i'll get mushy with it later but i don't look at it as like oh i needed this i'm so grateful i almost had a breakdown if that was not what a, the very definition of a breakdown but i i've been able to put it into perspective and i've come out on the other side better than i could have ever dreamed because and i say this because I went into it thinking, oh, I'm going to deal with this thing. And then when I went to therapy, I was like, oh, I'm going to address these issues. I didn't know who I I mean. I'd lost, I think, a big part of who I was. I stopped doing, like, I think even here on the channel, you guys know that my bedtime had become 8 p.m. And I just thought, you know, that's because I come back home and I'm tired and I get up the next day and I have to go to the gym or whatever. But I didn't realize that that is not normal. That level of fatigue is not what everybody goes through because we work long hours but now that i have the energy to work and get here and cook dinner and do the dishes and actually do some other work for other things until about midnight day and i wake up the next morning i'm like ah nice nice like people with normal energy levels have it good like the way i, I feel great so i'm not saying i needed to go through all of those things but had i not gone through it i probably wouldn't be feeling as good as i do now i wouldn't be on the medication we found works for me now i wouldn't have dealt with all of those things i needed to deal with in therapy i still would be feeding my family takeouts because if there's one thing we'd come to believe in and nobody complained because i suppose people like when they love you they hold space for you and it's not my responsibility i guess we all try to pull our weight for the home to run efficiently but i think for me because i am a homemaker like this are things i used to enjoy nearly now is responsible for cooking because i made it a thing mm -mm. i love cooking i love experimenting with recipes and i think i've even shared on the channel hang out every time i've shared with you guys oh i'm trying to get back to myself i'm trying to pull myself towards myself i always say oh i'm going grocery shopping and i'm gonna try to cook again and i'm going to put my heart into it because it's something i really really grew up enjoying i used to do with my mom my grandmother used to love my cooking my family absolutely absolutely believes in me when it comes to the kitchen and i i find joy in doing this i find joy in uh sitting around the table and sharing a meal with my family and bringing people together in that way like this is something i've all since for like for as long as i can remember that was my thing and i hadn't done it in over two years because of here i got locked out like uh, covid covid yeah near three weeks when we thought that's how long the lockdown was gonna be like cook 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 emunayaji get seven colors cup or several colors but yeah that's when i stopped doing the things that i like doing like tennis gym i do because i was trying to find a semblance of a routine and normalcy and it helps me function but it's not something in Gang i absolutely enjoy going to the gym i do because science says i should you understand but tennis and cooking and just hosting people and planning board game night like i used to be that person who brings people together you know and i hadn't been that person for a long time and in therapy i realized oh no i say last year fella i say this year fella everything is bigger taking it's not just last year when i was dealing with my things that was colo and stuff right it was during covid and then we had to unpack oh, okay what was happening during covid why did i stop and then we had to deal with those issues that mental health health professional pandemic you understand so yeah I say all of this to say, I'm not saying, I'm not romanticizing suffering. 
because I, I like I was suffering. I'm not romanticizing depression and anxiety or I don't know what I went through. And I know people who deal with issues that mental health really like not everybody gets better go now like magnesium supplements or iron supplements or whatever that I've had to now take and I understand that there's people who deal with like real life issues that are chemical imbalances in their brains like depression depression so I'm not saying people need to go through those things or maybe they come on the other side and that they are okay and quote unquote normal and they come back to themselves but <laughs> I don't know how to phrase this but there's something to be said about walking through the furnace so guys today is Monday um i had not anticipated i didn't think i'd want to film this part because today i've been i've been joking around and saying oh today's such a big day today is a very 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 big day today is my quote unquote ringing the bell day and oh i'm very tired it's like two o'clock in the afternoon i'm sweating i my makeup is all over because i've been it's been such a it's been an emotional day. I've kept it together, but I cried small, small. But I feel great. I don't feel how I look because <laughs> I look like a hot mess. But yeah, I just wanted to take the time to just, I don't know. I've been saying today's a good day. Today's a big day. Today is, I finally feel like myself again. And I just wanted to be mushy for all of two seconds and thank everybody who's I know I've told them already I know I've told my friends I know I've told my family that I'm grateful like I always always say I wouldn't be who I am without you but now I say I wouldn't be alive if it were not for you guys and literally e it's been a, a trying couple of weeks. It's been a very interesting period. It's been a very <laughs> tumultuous start to my year, but I'm okay. I'm great, I'm thriving. I'm back to being goofy and happy and free spirited and all of those things you love about me that I know you guys missed, but okay. I'm, I'm doing the thing where I'm trying to not get emotional so I'm playing around but okay what I actually wanted to say is I want to acknowledge everybody who's got to me here so I don't mind that but yeah I just wanted to say firstly to my friends and my family thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for a million things thank you um, but I also wanted to take the time to also say to anybody who might be going through anything um, I personally relegated mental health workers to like last on my priority list because I you know when you think you know something you know when you think you know yourself and then you I mean you also think you know medicine and your body and all of those things and I'm sure I'm not the only person who hears about these things and you read about people going through things and you read about people going through things and you're like, oh, of course. So even me, I'm that person who knows that symptoms of anemia could manifest as anxiety and or depression. But when you are the person who's in the pits and you can't recognize that you need help, please, first of all, accept help. Lynn and I, will, I came here as a last resort because I was like, no. I'll be fine. I'm taking my supplements. I'm taking my meds. I'm okay. I'll be okay. That was not true. But also, um, allow the people who love you to love you. I think, yeah, I actually had this up on my WhatsApp that sometimes, sometimes we think handling trials on our own is a, a sign of virtue and strength. But the same way you know you'd be willing to jump into the deep end for the people you love trust them to be capable to trust them Libana, to be able to handle you at your worst trust that they love you enough to see past purity you know to still think you're amazing to still think you are smart and capable and all of those things you are even though you might be going through a thing also 
don't let the devil steal your mind don't let because when you're going through things there's just you forget and you now ubaling negative self-talk you allow the devil to make you forget that god cares about you you stop praying and believing and all of these things that happen i don't want to labor hahulu here but i just want to remind you that you can trust god that the word of god never returns to him void so when he says you are the head and not the tail trust god when he says he will bless your going in and you're coming out believe god when he says one thousand may fall at your wayside ten thousand at your right but none will ever harm you believe that even when it's dark and you're unsure and you don't know and it had you got any weapons that seem to be forming will not prosper because to form they may form but trust god the word of god i will say this again the word of god does not return to him void we serve a god who restores we we serve a god who's waiting on us to yield to him to cast our burdens to him and he's so ready so open so available to step in and god knows your heart god knows you and he is the same yesterday today and tomorrow even then even when you're going through whatever it is you're going through i was lucky i had people who were speaking god's promises over my life i had people who were reminding me constantly of who god says i am but sometimes all you have is yourself <laughs> so if it means who want to remind her on your mirror if it means who bad posted notes on your laptop or having affirmation apps on your phone do what you need to do but you're gonna be okay however dark it may seem whatever clouds seem hovering over your life hold on to the knowledge that you will see the goodness of god in the land of the living if he said it in his word if god said it in his word you have to believe him and okay parting words there's a sermon in a game that got me through some of the more difficult days yeah td jakes where he says god sees you we know god to be a lot of things we know that he's jehovah el shaddai he's jehovah jireh he's this he's that in this season of your life remember that also he is el roy the lord god who sees and he sees you so who tata dingata and oh moon go get the thing guys get the believe me so i want to say really mona really quite a day i know how difficult it seems sometimes but just hang in there happy day guys also go to therapy because hey sometimes it will take everything in you to fight it will take every ounce of strength it's gonna take a lot of breaking down and hand holding from the people who love you it will take time give yourself grace be kind to yourself but never lose sight of the fact that your song will be that of victory when you get to the other side i love you very much thank you so much for staying until the end don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and share